Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 635. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 628 to 635. In this trick here we have a column of some data and we need to find perfect matches. So anytime we see this sequence in this column, we need the very first item in the perfect sequence to, in this column here to show true or yes or something like that. Now, um, we're going to use the AND function. The AND function, it can have lots of logical tests, and we have six things to check. So we have to do six logical tests. Now the first one is, we have to say, hey, is this relative cell reference 1 to my left equal to this one? And this one needs to be locked, so I'm going to hit the F4 key. AND, now notice this is an AND logical function, or logical test. All six of our logical uh, formulas, in essence, have to come out true for the AND to deliver a true to this cell. So our next one is, hey, how about this one? Is, and that's a relative cell reference. Is that one equal to that one right there? And the F4 key, lock it, comma, the next one is this one. Notice these are all, the first part of each one of these logical tests are relative because we need those to move, move down and check each successive record as we copy the formula down. We say, is that one equal to the third one here, locked with the F4 key, comma, this one equal to this one locked with the F4 key, comma, our fifth logical test, that one equal to this one, F4, comma, and finally the last logical test, is it equal to that last one, F4. Close parenthesis, now I can control enter, and double click and send it down. Now I'm going to go to the last cell, control down arrow, and check. It looks like all the relatives, I can see all these ones here, and all those ones are locked, so that's looking good, and we see a true right here. There's the pattern, exactly like we see up here. Now, that's kind of messy. I don't want to see all those falses, I like to just see something and then everything else blank, so I'm going to amend this. Now remember, AND delivers a true anytime all six logical tests are come out true. So now I'm just going to do IF, and then the IF, that logical test, the AND will deliver a true or false to that. I'm going to comma and the value if true, something like yes, or whatever it is you want. Otherwise, blank, double quote, because I don't want to see anything. I don't want it visually cluttered. Close parentheses, control, enter. Double click and send it down. Wow, that's looking good. Now, there's an even easier way to do this. We could use an array formula. Now, let's just come here and say equals and. I'm going to highlight these six values, relative cell references as a range and just say are those equal to this what's so and we need to lock this with the F4 key what's so cool about this is anytime in array that range is an array because this logical test is thinking that a single true will come into this argument but we're given in a bunch anytime all th six of those are equal to all six of those boom and if we hit F9 you can see true 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 the AND sees all that they're all true and delivers a true. Control Z to not hard code that, code that. Close parenthesis. And Control Shift and Enter. This is an array formula. And I'm going to do the same thing. If, comma in double quotes, yes. Otherwise, the value of false will be double quote, close parenthesis. Control Shift, Enter. Double click and send it down. How about we'll do this like that. Totally cool. I'm going to come down here and check it. Looks good to me. All right. Um, we'll see you next trick.